what's up everybody we just give it a couple minutes uh, it's just about three o'clock then we'll get started here all right just, yeah, we'll just give it a few minutes and we'll get started homeschool basketball workouts 2020 that's what we'll start here What's up, everybody? Almost ready to get started here. All right, just one second. What's up, Joe Delora? All the way in Florida. That's where you want to be if you're getting quarantined. Coach Chuck, what's up? Buddha, what's up, brother? All right, we're going to get started in a minute, just letting some people, more people are logging on now as we start. All right, we're going to get started. Basketball workouts, I'm going to start doing these a couple times a week for everybody. You can come on to Facebook Live. All right, I'll have Dylan and Brody demonstrating the drills. We'll do a lot of different things that all the kids can follow along and be able to get some workouts with. All right. the one thing to remember that everyone can tell their kids is, even if you do not have a hoop, all right, you can still work out and improve your game. So especially today for the first one, we're going to do a lot of ball handling drills and we're going to go through some other form shooting stuff, all right, that we'll be able to do and show everybody, all right, that you, you can work out even if you don't have a basketball hoop. So we're not going to have any of that excuses, all right. Uh, I got a bit of a glare, so it's hard for me to see some of the uh, people logging on, all right. Say hi, everybody. Ed, what's up? All right. Amanda, I see you there, Chase. Finn, what's up? All right. All right, so everybody, so again, um, my name is Matt Stone. All right, so what I'm going to be doing now throughout this time when everyone is homeschooled at home is I'm going to be able to run some workouts here that I'll Facebook Live that you guys can watch, um, have your kids go along to it, or you could look back on it. You can watch them, have you do, get some ideas for some different drills to do with your kids. Uh, again, we just don't want to have kids having a lot of downtime and just doing it. All right, we're not going to make excuses. All right, we're going to utilize all this time we have here now to get better with our fundamentals. All right, and it actually could be a good break because too many times with a lot of our youth sports, everything is play, 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 play. All right, and there's not enough time where we usually have for the kids to work on their skills as much as they should. All right, so I think as from a positive approach, this little break that we have here now, we're going to go at it in terms of pushing the kids through, get a lot of different workouts in, all right? I'd like to do one every day, all right? Again, with the weather sometimes, I know it's supposed to rain tomorrow, maybe even snow, we might not be able to get it in. Tuesday, I know it's supposed to be a nice day, all right? But I'll keep putting updates up on my Facebook and on my Instagram for when we'll do it. We can follow them along. Um, again, if at any time, if you do have any questions or anything like that, just send me out some uh, a DM or send me a text, whatever it is that you need. All right, I'll be even answer at any time. Um, if you do ask any questions now, again, I got the, the glare. A lot of it is trying to uh, – Caroline, he doesn't need a coat. He's all right. All right, so a lot of it I'm trying to follow along. All right, but, again, I can't see some of the uh, establishments. All right, all right, so let's get to work. Again, thank you, everybody, for, for coming today. All right, and follow along. All right, Billy and Brody are going to help us. They're going to be our demonstrators for today. All right, so first off, we're going to work on a, a stationary ball handling series. All right. We're going to start off with some Maravich drills. All right, now, the Maravich drills are going to help you to work on your hand speed, all right, and your ball control, all right? So the first set of Maravich drills we're going to work at, all right, is going to be our behind the back, all right? So what we're going to want to do is we want our feet to be stationary. We don't want our feet to move at all. We want to keep them just about shoulder width. We're going to wrap the ball around our back, all right? We're going to go for 20 seconds. You want to go at a speed that you can control the ball, and that's going to work for you. Everybody's on different levels. Everyone's going to do different things, all right? So we're going to go 20 seconds, wrapping the ball around our waist. Don't have your head down looking at the ball. Let's have our head up. Keep looking forward, okay? Here we go. Ready? Go. Ten. Good. All right, good. All right. For some of if some of you have younger children, all right, and their hands are still small, the ball might be a little bit too big, 
These might be a little bit too hard for them. That's okay though. Again, just keep getting it, learn the movements, all right? And then just keep trying what you're gonna do. All right, now, next one. We're gonna put our right foot out, all right? We're gonna bend our knees. We don't wanna bend our backs over, all right? We still wanna be looking up. Right foot is gonna be out. We wanna have a little bit of a bend. Our back knee is not hitting the ground. It's staying up, all right? Up, and we're gonna wrap the ball right above our ankle, all right? Right above our ankle, okay? 20 seconds, here we go, go. Keep the ball below your knee, it's going around your ankle. Keep the ball below your knee, we're gonna wrap it around our ankle, okay? Good, 10 seconds. Good, hold up. All right, now we're gonna switch legs. All right, again, remember, leg out. Don't bring the ball up here around your knee, all right? Hands down, you want all fingertips, all hand motions around your ankle, okay? Left leg is gonna be out. All right, bend your knee, all right, around the left ankle. Okay, here we go. Go. Ten seconds. Let's go. Keep working, keep working. Stop. All right, good. Okay, all right, now we're going to have our feet together, all right, not all the way pressing together where we're off balance, all right? Just a little bit of space apart. Bend our knees. Again, we're looking forward. I'm not bending my back down. I'm up, I'm looking forward. I want to wrap the ball again around my ankles. Don't bounce, bring it up. We're working on ball control with our hands, hand speed. So I'm here, wrap the ball around my ankles this way, keeping it right off the ground, okay? All right, 20 seconds, heads are up. Here we go, go. Good, good, work, 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 work. Come on, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. You got 10 more seconds. Keep at it, keep at it, keep working. All right, hold up, all right, good job. All right, now, we're gonna stay straight, straight up. I wanna keep my head straight, so I wanna look on the distance, pick a point out in the distance now, all right, wherever it is that you are, all right, don't have your head moving around. We wanna wrap the ball here, all right, I want the ball to come right where my nose and my mouth and then down. So I don't want to drop the ball here, all right, and rock it down here. It stays up. My hands are up the whole time. So my hands should be above my shoulders. Again, working on ball control, all right, with our hands. So my hands are above my shoulders. I'm wrapping it, should be coming right across my face. All right, right across my face. I'm going right around my head, okay? All right, 20 seconds. Keep your head locked in. Keep your head locked in, looking on something forward, okay? Here we go, go. Good, just hand speed, just hand speed. Don't drop that ball to your chest. Just keep it up, keep it up. You're going all hands, wrapping it right around your face. Good job, 10 more seconds. Good, good. Good job, what's up Chris Clark? Chris, Chris is waiting for us to get to the shooting. All right, here we go, good, stop. All right, now, pay attention. This one gets a little bit more tricky. We're gonna go all three together. So we're gonna go head, waist, all right, and then down to our ankles and then back up. So I start out, my first one, all right, again, straight, straight posture. I'm not moving my feet at all, all right? We're staying stationary. Again, working on hand speed, working on ball control. So I'm going around my head, my waist. I'm not bending my back. I'm bending my knees, ankles, then I'm coming back up. Waist, head, waist, ankles, back up. Waist, head, back down. All right, so then once I get the groove of it, all right, I'm gonna go all in one motion, but it has to go around. So I can't be when I'm here, start ducking down. I gotta go around, around, then dip. Around, 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 then dip. All right, complete the whole cycle, up and down, all three. Okay, concentrate on each one as you do it. Okay, all right, here we go. We're gonna go all three, all three together. All right, here we go, go. Good, work, work. Bend your knees, not your back. Bend your knees, not your back. <laughs> What's up, McCall, if I hear you, brother? All right, bend your knees, not your back. Good, 10 more seconds. Let's go, everybody, work, work. Come on, we're working, everybody's working. Let's go, let's go, we're working, everybody's working. Good, 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 all right, hold up. Good, good, all right, now. Hand quickness, all right? Hand quickness, agility, being able to react, all right? 
So I'm spreading my feet, maybe just a little bit wider. Maybe just a little bit wider. I'm keeping my knees bent, all right? I got one hand in front, one hand in back of the ball. Beginners, beginners, you want to drop the ball, let it hit the ground, turn your hands, okay? Drop the ball, let it hit the ground, flick your hands, all right? So I'm going left hand in front, drop it, right hand in front. Left, right, left, right, all right? You can let the ball hit the ground, but you have to get it on one bounce. Once you become more comfortable, guys and girls, it might be a little bit older, guys or girls not even older, a little bit more advanced, all right? Then you can just keep it up in the air, but it has to stay in between. And you can just flick back and forth with your hands, all right? And you don't necessarily need to let it bounce. All right, so you can work it here. Work your hand speed, work your hand speed, keeping the ball in the air, all right? Whichever level you're at, all right? Whichever you have to go through, that's fine. That's where you go, all right? Coach McDonald, thank you. All right, so we have to, again, keep working, keep working, all right? Here we go. Knees bent. Get a good base. Might have to get them spread a little wider. If you need to let the ball hit the ground, that's fine. Work on hand speed. Okay, here we go. Go. Good, good. Keep working. Keep working, everybody. Keep working. Ten seconds. Keep working. Keep working. Good, time, time, good, great job. All right, so that series of Maravich drills right there, all right, if you go through those every single day, 10, 15 minutes, that again is gonna increase your hand speed, it's gonna increase your control of the ball, all right, and it's gonna develop your ball handling, all right? Take two minutes, get a drink of water. All right, take two minutes, get a drink of water. Some of you might be as out of breath as I am. All right. Quarantine got a lot of you sitting around a lot, all right? Two minutes, real quick for water. We're gonna come right back into it. Two minutes. What's up, Paul Passamano? Let's go, hurry up, guys. Make sure you stay on your people. Short in the break, short in the water breaks. This isn't school. It's not mom and dad's home school where they get to go to the bathroom for 10 minutes. Frankie Capiano, let's go, like a gentleman. Anybody's got any real estate needs, contact my man Frank. Market's hot right now. All right. All right, we ready to get back in it? We're going to just jump back in with some stationary ball handling. All right, here we go. Yeah, Clark, come on, I'm home, man. It's easy with the beer. All right. All right, let's go. So here we go. Everybody back from their water break? Let's go, Mom and Dad. Get them back. Get them back. Let's go. Get them back. All right, here we go, ready? Stationary ball handling now. Stationary ball handling now, all right? Coach Alvarez, you make it easy, all right? Again, here we go. So we're gonna be here. We wanna, again, everything we're doing now, stationary. Stationary means stationary. So we want our feet to stay on the ground. I don't wanna be moving, things like that. Everything we're working on now, as we're dribbling the ball, is gonna be ball control and it's gonna be hand speed. Ball control and hand speed, all right? So. We do everything shoulder width apart, good base. Shoulder width, all right? If Dylan's got his feet together and he's standing and he's off balance and I push him, he's gonna go flying, all right? Now, if he's in a game and his feet are shoulder width, bend your knees, and he's got a stronger base and he's ready, I push him the same way, all right, and he's still here, all right? So everything we do, base, balance, everything's important. We gotta translate everything we do in drills to be able to translate into a game. All right, so here we go. We got our feet shoulder width apart. All right, our knees are going to be bent. All right, we're going to go right hand dribble. Now, parents, good tip here, especially for the younger kids. When you're dribbling, especially these stationary drills, do not dribble the ball here in front of you. The ball should not be in the front. All right, right outside your right foot. Okay, if I'm dribbling in a game and I'm here, here's where the ball is. Put it straight down. It's going to be right outside your foot. If someone to dribbles up during a game, this is the way they're gonna look, dribbling in front of them, right? Not natural, gonna get the ball stolen. So everything is right off your right foot. Everything's right off, thanks Clark, I love that. Everything is right off your right foot dribble. Okay, here we go. Bend knees, we're gonna keep our heads up. Heads up, guys and girls, heads up. We're looking forward, not up here in the shoulder, not too low below the knee. 
right up here, right up above the knee. All right, we're gonna pound them out, right-handed dribbles. Pound them out, right-handed dribbles. Okay, 20 seconds. Here we go. Go. Let's go. Work, work, work. Let's go. Work. Yeah, let's go, Lou. Get over here. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Keep working. Keep working. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Good. See how they got their knees bent? Heads are up. Knees bent. Heads are up. Time. Time. All right. Same thing. Left hand. Now, the greater percentage of you, your weaker hand is going to be your left hand. You have to work at it. You have to work at it. Not going to have any success unless we go through failure. Okay? No success unless we go through failure. All right? Here we go. We're going to go left hand. Keep your head up. Don't look at the ball. It's going to come back up. Got to develop both hands. Got to develop both hands. Okay? Here we go. Left hand to dribble. Ready? Go. Come on, come on. Get up a little higher, Brody. Good, good. Right about there. Good. Pound it out. Pound it out. Pound it out. Good, good, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good. All right. Now you saw if you if parents, if you were watching Brody, beginning, he was a little bit too low with it here. All right. We want to get it up a little bit higher. We want to get that ball right above the knee here as we're going through this and doing it. All right. As we're doing it, we gotta do it. Okay? All right, we're gonna go back to the right hand again. Right hand again, 20 seconds. Here we go. Go. Good, good. Head up. Head up. Good. Strong with the dribble. Keep working. Strong with the dribble. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Going to go left hand. Left hand. Here we go. Go. Good. Head up. A little higher, Dylan. A little higher, Dylan. Not so low. Good. There you go. Strong with it. Strong with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. All right. We're going to work on stationary crossovers now. All right. Now, here's the important key here. Stationary crossover. We have to make sure that we keep the ball low. All right. All of our crossovers, whether it's in a game, drills, practice, whatever we're doing, we want to keep the ball low and hard across our body. All right. All our crossovers low and hard across our body. So when I come to cross over, I don't want the ball up here and then cross it and it ending up back here. All right, everything's got to be here, low and hard across my body. Low and hard, low and hard, so I can get by defenders. All right, I'm not wasting any time. I'm not bringing the ball up in an area where it can get stolen. All right, so here we go. Here's the drill, okay? We are going to start out. We're going to go two dribbles each hand, and then we're going to cross the ball over to the other side. Two dribbles each hand, and then cross. So you don't have to have cones with you. All right, I just put these cones up here, if you can see them on a thing, just as an easier way to see where we're going. So make sure we get through there. Right? So we're here, right? I'm gonna keep the ball up, same way we just did the stationary. All right, one, two, I cross it to my other hand. I don't just leave it and bring my hand over. Parents, watch your children. Don't just leave it in the middle and then switch hands. You're not switching hands, you're crossing the ball. One, two, cross. Now it's here on my left. One, two, cross. Right? I'm pushing the ball to my other hand, and I'm keeping the ball low. So I want to keep the ball here. Knee length. My head is up. Looking in the camera. Two dribbles. Cross. One, two, cross. Cross. I right, actually have a rhythm. Hear the ball? All right? The other thing, don't sway your body as you're going. So I'm here, I don't want to sway, I don't want to sway, sway. All hand speed, we're working on all hand control. Coach Whalen, what's up? One, two, cross, one, two, cross, cross. All right, my shoulders are staying square. My feet aren't moving. I'm just working on hand speed, ball control. Hand speed, ball control. All right, here we go. Keep the ball low, all right, keep the ball low. Keep it out in front of you, okay, here we go. Go, one, two, cross, good. Good, good. Keep working, keep working. Good, keep working, you'll hear a rhythm with your ball. Keep working, you'll hear a rhythm. Five seconds, let's go, work. Time, time, good, good. Make sure you shake your arms out, all right, once you get up, make sure you, you bend your knees, you get a little loose, all right, don't wanna stay stiff in one position. 
All right, good job. Again, crossovers, low and hard across your body. Low and hard across your body. Okay, let's go, Butler. All right, here we go. Same thing again, okay? Head is up, I'm looking forward, head is up. Two dribbles, cross, two dribbles, cross. Okay, two dribbles, cross. All right, here we go, go. Good, keep your head up, keep your head up. Good, good, good. Five seconds, five seconds, keep working, keep working, keep your heads up. Remember, everything that we're doing, ball handling wise, everything that we're doing, dribbling the ball here, always work on keeping your head up. You're in a game, you're dribbling, your head is down, you're not gonna know if one, your teammate's open, you can pass the ball, two, you might not open if you're open, you might have an open shot, all right? We have to always develop now, especially the younger kids, develop the habit now, everything dribbling the ball has to be head up, all right? Everything dribbling the ball has to be head up, okay? All right, now. Next stationary drill. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, again, still stay here, shoulder width, we're gonna stay in one spot, all right? I'm gonna not go full figure eight, all right? So I'm gonna work on this, all right? We'll start with left. One, two, I'm gonna bring it back, two, forward, all right? So I'm bringing it through my legs, but I'm just catching it here, and then I'm coming back at it, all right? So I'm working, again, hand speed and keeping the ball low, all right? I don't want to take the ball up high, all right, and lean back, all right, and bring the ball up high again, all right? I want to be shoulder width, I want to be low. One, two, here. Okay, I'm not moving my feet, all right, I'm not twisting my body all around. Everything here, I'm working with my hands, all right, I'm working on being able to push the ball underneath my legs, and I'm working on my ball control. Okay, so we're going to go left hand in front first, pushing it through to our right hand in the back, okay? All right, left hand in front first, pushing it through to our left hand in the back. Okay, here we go, go. Good, two dribbles in between each. Good, good. That's it, good, keep working, keep working. Keep working. I know, man, it's not as easy as skiing down those slopes. Here we go, keep working, keep working. Five seconds, let's do it, five seconds. Time, time, all right, good, good. Now we're gonna go same drill, but we're gonna go right hand to left, okay? Same drill, but we're gonna be here, we're gonna go right hand, pushing it to our left. One, two, push, one, two, push, one, two, push, one, two, push, okay? Everything's gonna be two dribbles in between, all right? Right hand is in front now, and then we're going back here down to the left. Okay, here we go. Ready? We ready? Here we go. Go. One, two, push. Good, good. Good. Don't bring it all the way out. Keep your hand behind you. Good. Good. This one's a little harder with your left hand in the back because you don't see it. This one gets a little bit more tricky. Five seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. Five seconds. Thank you, Coach Ridley. Stop. All right, stop. Good, good. Good work. All right. Next one, more the beginners, smaller kids, gonna be a little bit more difficult. Work at it, work at it, work at it. Fumble it, lose the ball, it's okay, get it? Just keep trying, keep trying, all right? You didn't open up a book for the first time and read seven chapters, all right? You worked at it and you got better. Same concept of everything that we have to do here. Okay, all right, here we go, ready? Butler, we could talk. All right, here we go. We're gonna go, same thing, shoulder width, we're gonna put the ball behind our back. We're gonna put it behind our back, all right? So I'm here, all right? I can do the same thing. One, two, behind my back. One, two, behind my back. Two, behind. All right, same as the crossover, all right? The ball is low. I'm not bringing it up here, all right? I'm in a little bit of a squat position here, all right? So the ball's gonna, as I'm in a sitting position, it's gonna go right underneath my butt. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, all right? I'm not looking back at the ball. I wanna keep looking forward. I'm relying on my hand speed and my ball control to get it, all right? Again, two dribbles behind the back go. Two dribbles behind the back. Coach Wadica, 
All right, two dribbles behind the back. Okay, here we go. Go. Good. Two. Good. You have to look back. That's good. That's okay. You lose it, just get it. You lose it, just get it. Good. 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 It's all right. Get it. Come on. Get it. Good. 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 All right. Hold up. All right. Again, for those of you, all right, we're at home. Most of you I probably know. Those that I don't, all right? So my two sons. So Dylan's in fifth grade. He's 10. Brody turned nine. He's in third grade, all right? So you see, there's some things they do very well, other things they're improving at too. Again, the key is not being afraid of failure, not letting the kids get frustrated, letting them know it's okay to make a mistake. Letting them know it's okay to make a mistake. How many times in games do you see a kid turns a ball over, Kid throws up an air ball. All right, I call it the whiplash effect. Look right into the stands at mom and dad. Mom and dad give the negative reaction. Kid's a mental patient for the rest of the game. All right, we have to let the kids know they make a mistake, turnover, whatever. Next play. Next play, mom and dad. All right, starts here. This was a nice little break of game action for everybody to spend time here with their kids, develop that relationship. Next play. Do the drills with them. They lose it, no problem, get it, get back in it. Same concept in a game. All right, here we go. Behind the back again. Ready, go. Good, good. Good, good. Keep your heads up, work at it, keep your heads up. 10 seconds, keep your heads up. Good, all right, hold up, hold up. Good. All right, now, we're going to work on figure eight. Figure eight. All right, two types of figure eight dribbles we're going to do. Two types, all right? One is going to be all for more fingertip control, all right? The other is going to be hand speed, hand control, working the ball, okay? Hand speed, hand control, working the ball. All right, so here's what we're going to do, all right? Feet are shoulder width. Again, younger kids, beginners, going to be a little bit more difficult. That's okay. You have to try and practice to get better. Try and practice to get better. Older kids, kids that are going to be better at it, enforce it, enforce it, enforce it, keep working. Coach Anderson, what's up, baby? All right, here we go. So we're here. Going to go fingertips first. So we want low dribbles, low dribbles. I still want to, though, when I bring the ball to the middle, push it to my left. Low dribbles around, push it out. Low dribbles around, all the way through. All the way through, all the way around your feet. Okay, head is going to be up. We're going to go forward first. I bring the ball forward, forward. A lot of low dribbles, fingertip control, forward. A lot of little dribbles, fingertip control, forward. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Go. Keep the ball bouncing. Good, keep the ball bouncing. Keep the ball bouncing. Good, 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 good. Keep the ball bouncing. Sometimes outdoor balls, Uneven surfaces, it may be a little bit tricky, all right, but you got to work out the elements you got. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Good, good. Good. Time, time. Okay, again, remember one thing we want to emphasize again our feet are not moving. Try not to sway your body with the ball. Don't use your body as a guide, just using our hands. We just want to work on our hand control, all right, moving the ball around that way. Do not sway your body, rotate around. All right, going forward again, forward again. Okay, here we go, go. What's up, Ra? Good, keep it low, keep it low. Good job, keep it low, keep it low. Keep working, keep working. These ones are a little more difficult, it's all right. Keep working, keep going. All right, time, good. All right, now, same thing. We're gonna go figure eight, but we're gonna bring the ball. That last time we came, we pushed it through the front. All right, this time we're gonna come, we're gonna bring the ball around through the back of our legs, okay? A lot of little dribbles, a lot of little dribbles. Bring the ball around through the back, okay? Bring the ball around through the back, all right? Same thing, a lot of little dribbles, okay? Here we go, go. Good, good, good. Fingertip control. Fingertip control. Good. All right, it's okay, little kids, if they're looking at the ball, they're working on their fingertips, that's fine. All right, looking at it, working on it, that's fine. All right. No 
Don't worry about them getting to the feel the ball, being able to get control of it, okay? 10 seconds, here we go, 10 seconds. Good, good, good. All right, hold up, hold up. Caitlin, you can run a pitcher's clinic, pitcher's clinic. All right. One more, one more, we're gonna go through the back. One more, we're gonna go through the back. One more, go through the back. Okay, all right? You ready? Okay, 20 seconds again, same thing. Figure eight, we're gonna bring it around through the back. All right, keep the ball low, keep the ball low. Here we go, go. They don't know, Coach Rogers, they don't know. Good, keep it low, keep it low. Good, good, good. That's it, good Dylan, good, better Brody, good. Let's go, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Keep working everybody, keep working. Keep working. Good, hold up, hold up, okay, all right. Last stationary set we're gonna work on, all right, then we'll get a drink. It is gonna be a little bit of movement here, but it's gonna come into a bigger one when we go some more dribbles coming more in like a full court type set, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. All right, whatever spot you're starting out on, whatever spot you're starting out on, all right, just notice it, all right, we got a cone here for each, all right, so it makes it a little bit easier, all right. What we're going to be working on, all right, is a back out dribble, all right, a back out dribble, all right. Young players, young players, if you can develop your back out dribble move out of trouble, all right, it is going to, you, you're going to be able to play anywhere, all right. So you can handle the ball and you can pass the ball, you can play with anyone, all right. Back out dribble, all right? Here's what we mean, okay? So I'm gonna start here, all right? I'm gonna be in a triple threat position. I'm gonna have the ball here, all right? Picture if trouble's coming, all right? Defender is in front of you, all right? So we wanna be able to turn our body. We have defender in front, you, ball. You're the protector, so he can't reach over here to grab the ball, all right? So I'm here in front, all right? I'm gonna turn my body. Now, I'm dribbling the ball on the outside of my foot, okay? And I'm just back dribbling, but I'm still looking forward. Okay, one, two, three, all right? For the drill purpose, we're then gonna come forward again. Keep dribbling, all right, get squared up. Turn again, one, two, three on the back up. All right, come forward, jump stop it in. Turn, one, two, three. All right, again, it's important here. Defender, body, ball, but I'm still looking forward. All right, I don't wanna look down or look this way when I'm backing up and somebody runs right past me and steal the ball. Okay, so I'm turn, defender, body, ball, all right, one, two, three on the back, come forward again, get squared up first, couple dribbles, turn your body, one, two, three, all right, bring it back, get squared up, keep it down, okay? We're gonna go right hand first, all right? We're gonna go five times each. Right hand first, five times each, okay? Here we go, go. Good, I'll bring it forward, square up first, then turn it. Turn it. Good, square up, turn it all the way. Now get the ball behind you. Good. Turn it, look forward on the back up. Back up three dribbles. Good. Let's go five times. All right, good, good. Five times each on that, five times each. Remember, all right, so it's like I'm coming forward in a game all right, here's the defender in front of me. I gotta stop and I'm backing out of trouble. There's a trap. I'm backing away, creating space, creating distance. Once I create space, I have the ability to see over to throw the ball. I have the ability to make another move and go around, okay? Create space, create space. Okay, here we go, same thing again. Five times right hand, all right? Start the drill, one, two, three, then turn it, all right, and then go your back dribble. Come back, get squared up, two, three, turn it, and then back up again. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Good, back it, good, good. Now go forward, one, two, three, good. Back it, good, go forward, good. Good, what's that, three, two more. Good, good, stay low, keep your head up. Stay low, keep your head up, keep looking forward. Keep looking forward. Good, good, all right, nice job. Good work, all right? Now we're gonna go left hand. We're gonna go left hand, all right? We're gonna go left hand. You got that right, Skip. Would've saved you a lot of money. All right, 
Yeah, Lori, too bad they can't synchronize cleaning their bedrooms. Okay, all right, we're gonna go left hand now. All right, left hand, left hand, all right? Same thing, now when we turn though, we got to turn and face the other way. All right, so I'm here, two, three, I turn, all right? Again, defender, body, ball. Still looking forward, two, three. All right, now I come back, square it up. One, two, three, turn, defender, body, ball. Back, I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward. Okay, square it up, two, three, turn, defender, body, ball. All right, I'm looking forward on the back up. I'm looking forward on the back up, okay? Left hand, let's work on keeping our head up. All right, let's work on staying low, looking forward. All right, here we go, three dribbles first, okay? Go. Good, come back forward. Good, good. Good, good, good. Back up, back up, come forward. Good, 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 good. All right, quick drink. All right, quick drink. Let's go, everybody. Quick drink. Let's go. Quick drink. Parents, remember, remember. Everything, all right, as we're doing the drills, whatever skill it is we're working on, everything that we do, the key is always consistency, all right, the key is repetition throughout, all right, consistency and repetition throughout, okay, all right, go, we'll go another 30 seconds and we'll get started, 30 seconds and we'll get started. One start on that cone, so you're going to opposite. So you start there. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go with some moving, some dribbling stuff on the move here. Now, all right. Dribbling stuff on the move. So we don't want to take a big spot. All right. We don't want to take it where all of a sudden it's we're dribbling 92 feet, working on our full speed dribbling. All right. Because if somebody's dribbling the ball end line all the way to end line without passing it, that's a problem. All right, so we want to work on shorter, quicker dribbles, especially with the younger kids. Shorter, quicker dribbles, because here's the thing. You want to make it so that they are successful. The shorter amount of period of time that they're going to have to do the dribble and dribble, they're going to do better at it, all right, rather than the longer amount of time. All right, so for now, we're keeping short bursts, good handles, everything fundamental, okay? This spot I have here for them, probably about... One, two, five. It's about 15 feet. All right, so it really is kind of like going end line to foul line. End line to foul line, all right? That's all we want to work on here, all right? We want to make sure we're efficient. We want to make sure we got good game speed, and we want to make sure we're handling the ball fundamentally the right way, all right? Efficiency, game speed, handle the ball the right way, all right, without losing it, okay? So we're going to go right hand dribble, all right? Right hand dribble down and back to each cone, all right? So we're here, again, our first step is forward. First step's not sideways. Our first dribble isn't next to us. Everything is always first step forward. First step forward with the ball, okay? First step forward. All right, so I wanna go, I wanna attack the cone. All right, I just wanna turn, all right, and pivot around, okay? So turn and pivot. So let's get a right foot pivot. So I'm attacking towards Wherever I'm going, my 15 feet. All right? I'm jump stopping. I'm going to keep my right foot turning on my right foot pivot. Still dribbling the ball. All right? I'm coming down. Jump stop. Pivot on my right. Keep dribbling the whole time. Keep dribbling. All right? Jump stop. Pivot on the right. All right? And then be able to go in the next direction. Okay? All right? Again, jump stop. Pivot on the right. Go in the next direction. All right? If you want to go down, back is once. We want to go five times. Down back is once, we want to go five times. Not up here with the dribble, not too low here at the dribble. Everything's right here, above the knee, waist high. Again, jump stop, 
pivot on the right to open up, all right, and then we go back up the other way, okay? All right, right-handed dribble, right-handed dribble, okay? Here we go, go. Good, good. Pivot on the right, good. Pivot on the right, Jordan, you're right. Good, yeah, pivot on the right, good. Good, okay, it's not always speed, it's not always speed, it's also under control, parents. Under control. So we want game speed, but we want under control, all right, so fundamentally, all right, we stay there, okay? Key point, remember that. Not always totally about speed. We want to be able to control the ball, especially for the kids that are developing, especially the kids that are developing. We don't want them every time they do a drill to lose it every time and not get the proper amount of reps in, okay? All right, we're going to go right hand again. Down and back is one. All right, we're going five total. Down and back is one. We're going five total. Okay, here we go. Go. Good, good. That's one. Good, good, good. Concentrate on your pivot foot. Concentrate on your pivot foot. Good. Keep your head up. Keep your heads up. Remember, we want to keep our heads up as we're dribbling. Okay, keep the ball low. All right, waist high. All right, efficient dribbles. Efficient dribbles. Efficient dribble. Okay. All right, good. All right. Now we're going to go left hand. Now we're going to go left hand. All right, same thing, same concept. We're here. All right. Again, we dribble out. Left hand. All right. I jump stop here. All right. I want to pivot, keep my left foot. I want to pivot to open up and then go. I'm going to keep my dribble the whole time. We're going to, as we're dribbling, all right, we can work on our pivot foot. All right. We can add things in with everything that we're doing. Add things in with everything that we're doing. Tom Stone, you're covering it, so don't worry about how much it costs. All right, here we go. Again, everything, left hand, everything, our heads are up. Everything, our heads are up. Okay, here we go. Go. Good, good. Pivot on your left. Pivot, Bill. Pivot on your left. Keep the left foot down. That was your right. Left down. Good, there you go, good. Left foot, bro, your left. Open up the other way. confusing all right part of the reason why we want to throw that in with the pivoting part of it is really because it also gets them to think all right and it gets them to go on something here where now it's not like ah let me just run back run back run back and forth run back and forth my dribble all right we're thinking about the drill we're thinking about things that we got to be able to do okay all right now we're going to go crossovers okay smaller space all right we're going to cross over once in between each drill all right so i'm here all right, start. We're going to start with the ball in our right hands. All right, I want to take two dribbles, okay? One, two, cross it low and hard across my body, finish out with two, all right? And I'm turning, same thing. Start with it in my right. One, two, cross it low and hard, and go. All right, now, when we're working on our crossovers and we're moving, here's the key. Same thing as stationary. We're going to go low and hard across our body, all right? Here's the difference. We want to change direction and we want to change speed. If I'm just coming straight forward, crossing like this, Fender just stands here in front, takes the ball, or is able to stop, okay? So starting out with the ball in my right hand, all right, I'm starting on an angle. I'm taking two dribbles on an angle. I cross, I'm coming back up the other direction. Change speed, change direction on your crossovers. Change speed, change direction. It's gotta be game simu simulations, okay? Change speed, change direction on your crossovers. So we'll go one, two, cross the other way. Again, everything started with your right hand, okay? Down and back counts as one. We're going five times. Down and back counts as one. We go five times. Okay, here we go. Go. One, two, cross. Good. Keep it low. Cross. Start with your right hand each time. Good. See, they shouldn't run into each other because their head should be up. Okay, one, two, cross. Don't bring it out so much. Keep it really tight. Keep it tight. Don't bring it out. Don't swing the ball out. Keep it tight. Two, cross it hard. One, 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 two, cross it hard. Okay? All right. 
Now again, when we're crossing over, all right, you saw Dylan a couple times if you get to see with the camera angle, I have to tell him. We don't want to bring it out here and then come, all right? We don't want to bring it out here and then come, all right? A lot of the videos the kids watch, a lot of the things that they see, all right, is a lot of these long swooping crossovers, all right? Long swooping crossovers. Those long swooping crossovers can look, can look, can work, all right? But it's going to work more for a very much more advanced, very much more athletic player, all right? Our purpose is we got to keep this simple. We got to keep the ball here, all right? Now when I plant my foot, I got my right foot planted, all right? My ball is still here. I'm crossing it hard, all right? And I'm stepping the other way to come to the left. All right, so tell the kids here, I'm here, I plant my right foot here, cross it, and now I'm stepping on my change of direction that way. All right, I don't want to stop, square up, bring it out, and then go. Okay, I don't want to stop, square up, and bring it out. All right, a better defender is going to be able to stand there and get the ball. Okay, so I'm coming this way on my right, it's plant my right foot, cross it over here on the change. Cross it hard and tight on the change, change speed, and change direction. Change speed and change direction. Okay, all right? Right hand again. Two dribbles to the right, cross. Everything when you come back each way, starting with the right hand. Okay, here we go. Go. One, two, cross. Keep it tight, don't bring it out. One, two, cross. Good, that's better, gentlemen. Good. One, two, cross. Good. Good. Head up. One, two, cross. Good. Better. Better. Don't swoop the ball out. Keep the ball tight. Cross it. Right? Plant that right foot, explode hard in the other direction. Plant that right foot, explode hard in the other direction. Okay? I don't know where we're behind the back. Okay? All right, now, same thing, same thing. We're starting with our left hand. All right, starting with our left hand. So on each side, it's going to be left. So again, as we're coming on an angle with our left hand, one, two, it's my left foot that's planted. It's crossed over my left foot, and my step in the other direction is now with my right leg, all right, and I'm going. Again, angles, angles, triangles, all right? Change speed, change direction. Don't square up, bring it out here, and go through, all right? That was Kevin Attilio move, 1989. Square up, try and shake people, all right? He's getting picked, Joe Pedone picked him, went the other way. All right, so I'm here, right hand, plant the left foot, Cross it hard, go in the other direction with my right foot. Okay, plant it, step and go. Okay, left hand, keep it in tight on the cross. All right, here we go. Go. Good, good. Good, good. Keep it in tight, keep it in tight. We're going that way, we want to Good. Plant and slow. Plant the left foot and slow it off. Good. Plant the left foot and slow it off. Plant the left foot and slow it off. Good, good. Good. Plant the left foot and slow it off. Good. Okay, all right? Again, so we have to just understand the difference in teaching the kids here in terms of with the crossovers of being able to change direction, all right, change speed, not have it squared up in front of them. When you're playing against a faster, you're playing against a stronger defender, that's gonna be a steal, okay? Faster, stronger defenders, that's gonna be a steal, okay? All right, so we gotta make sure, all right, that we're doing things fundamentally correctly, all right, to avoid all that, okay? All right, all right, now, we worked on the backup dribble before when we did the stationary, all right? So now we're gonna put it into a little bit more motion, all right? So as we start, we're gonna take two dribbles forward, all right? So I'm here, I'm starting, all right? Right hand, one, two. Again, I turn, now I'm gonna back out. One, two, now, as I back out, all right, and I turn, I wanna change my direction. So I turn, I cross, and now I'm explode, all right, out to the end of the cone. All right, so it's like if I have a defender on me, Dylan, come here, put the ball down. So if Dylan's a defender that's on me, all right, and as I back out, he's running at me, and I change direction, all right, and then I'm able to go past him. All right, we're working on the back out, change direction, and go around the traps. Back out, change direction, and go around the traps, okay? All right, so I'm here to start. Okay, right hand. All right, I'm going to go one, two, turn. Defender, ball. Okay, if 
my head is up. One, two, now. As I go to turn, I'm changing direction, all right, and I'm attacking, all right? And I'm gonna attack back out here, all right, past my cone, all right? I get set again, I wanna get set, then I'm gonna go right hand again, through dribbles, back out, and then go, okay? Down and back is one, we're gonna go five times. Remember, back out with your head up, back out with your head up, all right? Change direction, explode out of it, explode out of it, okay? All right, here we go, go. Two, slow down. Good. Right hand. Good. One, two. Slow down. Good. Change direction where you slow down. Change direction. Make a move, Bill. Good. Make a move on the change of direction. Good. Back it. Make a move and go. Good. 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 Back out. Make a move and then go. Good. Keep your heads up. Keep your heads up. Good, good, good. Good, nice job, nice job. Good job, everybody's working, everybody's working. Back it, slow down, slow down. Let's go, two more everybody, come on, keep working. Good job, everybody's working hard, let's go. Keep working, everybody's working hard. You got that right, Mike McGarry. All right, all right, here we go, all right. Good job, same thing now, we're just gonna go left hand. Same thing, we're gonna go left hand. Remember, once you back out, it's gotta be a fast move and a fast change of direction, all right? Because if we're thinking game speed, if we're thinking of a, something in a game, all right, when I'm using my back out dribble now, all right, the pressure is coming, all right? The pressure is following me. They're moving forward. If I can quickly change direction and go, all right, I'm gonna get them because they now have to run. They gotta react and turn and stay with me. Okay, so as I back out and the pressure comes after me, all right, I quickly then turn, change direction, and I go. All right, it's a great move, great move. Back out, under control, fast change of direction, go around the pressure. Fast change of direction, around the pressure. All right, left hand, okay? Everything's left. Remember, it's gotta be a fast move, all right, out after the back out. Fast move, change direction, all right, and then be ready to go. Okay, here we go. Go. Good. Stay low when you back out. Turn your body more, Dill. Dill, you got to turn your body and get the ball behind you. Turn your body sideways, get the ball behind you. Good. Turn sideways, behind you. Good. 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 Turn sideways, Brody. Good. Brody, you got to create space on your back. Create space on your backups. Create space. Good. Again, on your back dribbles, we want to create space. Back dribbles, we want to create space. All right, here we go, ready? Last dribble move we're going to do as we're going to go, all right, is we want to just get to the midpoint where we're going, all right, and we want to make a fast change of direction move. All right, we want to get to the midpoint and fast change of direction move. Now again, everybody different skill set, everybody different skill level, everybody different grade. All right, we could have high school kids doing a drill who are apt to maybe make a, a stronger move where they can go through the legs, all right, cross over and go. All right, younger kids might have to just come up, maybe just do a hesitation and go. Again, whatever you're comfortable with, all right, is what we want to work on here now, all right, as we get this drill going. Okay, so again, we want to take Two hard dribbles, all right? Start to move out with our right hand. Two hard dribbles, again, whatever move it is. So I'm here, all right? We're just change direction, and I wanna go and finish, all right? But you gotta stop and make a hard change of direction move. I can't just come out and just, all right? Make it come and go slow, all right? We're working on doing some hard. So I'm here, all right, hard, inside out, all right? Make a quick shake, quick move to get by. Again, whatever it is you feel comfortable with, all right, through the legs, behind the back, whatever it is, but we want to stay low, we want to keep our head up, and we want to stay under control while we're making this move. Okay, stay low, keep your head up as we go. Okay, what's up, Dev? Skip, what's up, baby? All right, here we go. Ready, go. Good, good. Mix it up, doesn't have to be the same move every time. Good, good. Hard change of direction. Good, whatever it is. Mix them up, work on things. This is where we like to even let the kids Work on their creativity.
creativity a little bit. All right, work on their creativity. All right, if they're gonna put it through their legs here and make a mistake, this is the time to do it. This is the time to do it. So give your kids the freedom a little bit here with this drill to work on a move. You might not want to see them make it a game. It's okay. All right? We're not saying dribble the ball 20 times in one spot. It's still got to be one shake, one step to make another move. All right? But this is the time where if you're not strong at putting the ball through your legs to make the move, this is the time to work on it. Because right? eventually you're going to need to have to. Higher levels of basketball, you have to have an array of moves to get by people. All right, so again, I think that's important, parents, to understand. So many times when we drill kids and we talk about fundamentals, really in any sport, we talk about fundamentals. Fundamental, being fundamentally sound, doesn't mean taking away creativity. It doesn't mean taking away the individuality of that kid in that sport, okay? So basketball, all right, is a game of creativity. It's a game of different moves you can make with the ball. So at a younger age, while we do want to focus of them getting the proper fundamental down, of being able to dribble with both hands, of being able to keep your heads up, of being able to make the simple move, we do have to give them the freedom, all right, of being able to work on some other more creativity, okay? That's what the, this drill, all right, does. Let them pick their move they're going to make. If they struggle with it, it's okay, all right, again, we don't mean come down, get to the middle, and go six times, all this other whatever you want to do. No, it's still a basketball move. It's still come down, make one move hard, all right? Even if it's screw the legs, cross over and go. That's fine. Let them work at it. Let them be creative, okay? Let them fail. Let them keep trying to have success, okay? Again, same thing. Right hand again. All right, same thing. We're going to start out right hand again. Make that one fast move. Be creative with it, okay? Here we go. Ready? Go. Mix it up. Mix it up. Good, good. Gotta keep your heads up. Gotta keep your heads up. Good. Gotta keep your heads up as you go. Keep your heads up as you work. Keep your heads up. Just make sure, all right, again, they're not breaking their speed, all right? If they're getting stuck in the middle, all right, too long, trying to do too many things, all right, that's when you gotta shut it down, one or two. All right, get them to go faster for the move. Okay, get them to go faster for the move. All right, good. So that was starting out with the right. All right, now we're gonna go two with our left, okay? Same thing, two with our left, all right? So each dribble as you're going each side is gonna start out with the ball in your left hand, okay? Each dribble going each side is gonna start with the ball in the left hand. So again, it's gotta be fast, all right? It's gotta be a game speed move still, all right? So, but again, be creative with it, all right? Work on something that you need to work on, okay? Here we go, go. What's up, Brandon? What's going on? All right, here we go. Come on, keep working, keep working. Good, good, good. Keep the ball low. Keep the ball low on the move. Hard move at the midpoint. Hard move at the midpoint. Mix it up, mix it up. Good, good, good. Good, good job, good job. All right, all right, go ahead, guys. Good job. Okay, all right, everybody. I think that was about an hour for today. All right, we covered a lot of ball handling. All right, I hope we picked up some good tips. Again, I'll keep posting on Facebook. So my plan moving forward, all right, is I want to do a lot of different things, give everybody a lot of ideas for some drills they can do at home. All right, let some kids get the work in that they need to get in. All right, again, it's got to be your kids that want to do it. All right, it's got to be your kids that do want to do it. Don't ever forget that. All right, today we went through a lot of drills. We didn't even have a basket. We didn't even use the basketball hoop once. All right, anybody could do these drills. You just need a ball, you can go outside the street, go outside the sidewalk, whatever it is. All right, don't make the excuse, all right, of maybe I don't have a hoop in my driveway, they took the hoops off, the parks are closed. All right, we can still work. All right, now, again, follow my Facebook. Weather's not supposed to be nice tomorrow, so we'll probably be off tomorrow. Tuesday's supposed to be beautiful. Tuesday, we're gonna do some more things with the basketball hoop, but also do some things without it. All right, we'll focus a little bit more on some shooting, all right, working on some different form. All right, but trust me, ball handling, younger players, this is what needs to be done every day. If you can handle the ball, if you can pass the ball, 
you can play with anybody. All right, give a thank you and a shout out here to my two demonstrators, Dylan and Brody. All right, they did a great job. All right, they do a lot of these drills a lot of times. So, all right, they may seem, all right, a little bit more comfortable than some kids doing it. All right, but again, they work at it. They work at it, all right? So whenever it is, whatever it is that you do, okay? Again, everybody have a great time. If you have any questions, all right, or if you want some any sort of other drills you want me to give you, DM me here through Facebook at any time. All right, a lot of you guys do have my phone number. Send me a text, give me a call, whatever it is, all right? We obviously got a period of time off here. I'm here to help, all right? All coaches are here to help, all right? Use all the coaches you know as resources. Again, I don't think we'll be back here tomorrow just because of the weather, all right? If not, we definitely will be back Tuesday. I know it's supposed to be nicer, all right? And we'll try and go through some different sessions each day, whether it's a half hour, hour, or an hour and a half, all right? Thanks again, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, looking forward to spending time with you over the break here through the internet and Facebook. All right, thanks, guys.